What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Tops. Sup, I'm a dragon. And this is Bottom. Sup. And this is Triple. Sup, I'm a oh, boo. I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Boo. And we're Crash Cards. Hi, team. Happy Monday, my marvelous monster mashups. Oh, boy, we're here to unveil a new deck for you today. Shout out to Triples. We're doing Danger Dark World, baby. Happy Monday, y'all, and welcome back to the channel and another fabulous day of Boo Gyo. Boo. Gotcha. October is one of our favorite times of the year, and it's probably one of our favorite months because of Halloween. We're trying to do as many spooky themed content ideas as possible, and this is one of our favorites. By no means is Danger Dark World the best deck, or even a very good deck, but you know what? We have a friend who is at Locals, and he's been doing really well with this deck, and honestly, it's one of our favorite decks to so just, you know, play for funsies. We did this deck a while ago, and a lot of you have been requesting for us to update it, and guess what? We actually did get a little buff to this deck with the introduction of two Nessie. Yay! Nessie's off the limited list and on to semi, you know, the purgatory of Yu-Gi-Oh. So we were actually really excited to update this deck for y'all, so make sure you let us know if you enjoy it. We haven't been playing the game for super long, however, when we think old school nostalgic decks that just blind second, this is obviously the first one that comes to mind. Not only is this a really good going second deck, but it's also a really fun deck, and the best part is it's mostly budget. And if you like drawing cards, boy oh boy, is this the deck for you. As we go throughout the profile, we will be going through some of the more expensive cards and providing budget options. So with all that out of the way, if you guys are not already a subscriber, feel free to go Go down and hit that subscribe button, throw this video a like, and comment your favorite candy. If you don't like candy, comment your favorite food, because I know some people don't like sweets. But comment your favorite candy. Mine's cybers. Mine's chocolate anything. We also have an Instagram. It's at CrushCardsYGO. Today is the last day that you can get in on our giveaway for a Megaton on Instagram, so make sure you go do the instructions and do all that on the Instagram. Link's in the description box down below. We also have a super wholesome Discord community. It's absolutely bop, and I'm in there all the time, and it's a great place to go if you want to make some new Yu-Gi-Oh friends. And then last but not least, if you want to further support the channel, we have a Patreon. The side decks go up. This side deck will be up on Patreon. All of our bloopers. We have amazing rewards. Feel free to check it out but if not that's okay i'm just happy you're here let's get into our danger dark world and see how many cards we can draw in one turn yeehaw starting off for one of the main boss sponsors of the deck we are playing double copies of grappa grappa at two is probably just the best ratio grappa says that you can special summon this card by returning one face up dark world monster you control to the hand except itself so special summons itself for free from the graveyard which is really good because this is a graveyard reliant deck everything is hitting the graveyard at least at one point during the duel and then all the dark world cards have additional effects if they are discarded via card effects and Grappa's effect is that if this card is discarded to the graveyard you can target one card your opponent controls and then destroy that target so pops a card special summons itself it's a level 8 2700 dark monster really good stats really good card overall and even though this is a danger dark world deck and the majority of the cards are dangers this is probably the best dark world monster in the entire deck I was playing against our friend Anthony at locals the other day and he was playing this deck and let me tell you how frustrating it is that Grappa is not a hard once per turn with its pop effect that's Super fun for me. Also kind of reminds me of like something that would be in a layer of darkness deck or just like in the layer itself. So if you guys want to see an updated version of layer for Boogie Out, let us know. Ooh, scary. Moving right on along, we are on triple copies of Beige Vanguard of the Dark World. Beige says that if this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon it from the graveyard. So literally just a level four monster that special summons itself. I want to know why they're all named after colors. It's not very scary. Like, ooh, here's Magenta and Fuchsia and Beige. <laughs> It is good to note that these do have to meet their trigger by being discarded off of a card effect. You cannot discard off of a cost like for Super Poly or for any of the nightmares in your or extra twin deck. Twisters. Yeah, they have to be discarded off of a card effect to meet their trigger. And then next we are on three copies of Brow Huntsman of the Dark World. That's not a color. It is not a color. But if this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, you can draw one card. This is literally just a card that will replace itself. But you know it is a color? Brown. They forgot the N on this one. It's okay. I got you, Konami. I know what you're trying to do. Speaking of N, next. Rounding off our Dark World, we are on double copies of Snow. White and the Seven Dwarves. Yes, okay, got it. I, I see what's going on here. <laughs> this is probably, in my personal opinion, next to like certain Pendulum cards, maybe the most unrealistic card text in the entire freaking game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh boy. We're not going to read the entire card, but basically what this says is if this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add any Dark World card from your deck to your hand. If you are interested in what this card's text is, man, you should go look it up because this is this is a wild Yu-Gi-Oh card. Also, its name is Unlight of the Dark World. What the hell kind of word is Unlight? The, what's scary about this deck is the wording of everything. The names, the titles, the word. Oh my god, scary. Moving on to the danger package. We are going to go extremely quick because everyone knows what these do. Highway to the danger. 
Danger We're on three <laughs> copies of Danger Bigfoot. This card, all the Danger Monsters, for anyone who may be new, does not know that when they are discarded to the graveyard off of their own effect or any effect at all, can be cost as well. Unlike the Dark Worlds, they will meet their trigger. Bigfoot is to pop one card. However, all the Danger Monsters also share the similar effect where if they are special summoned instead of sent to the graveyard, they will special summon themselves and then draw an additional card. Correction, they do not have to be discarded to the graveyard, they just have to be discarded in general. So That's if there are true. cards like Dimension Shifter active, you can activate the danger. It will still resolve even if discarded. Moving on. We are on triple copies of Danger Thunderbird. Thunderbird is literally just like Bigfoot. Bigfoot will pop a face up card when discarded. However, Thunderbird will pop a face down or a set card when discarded. And then for our last level eight, we are on one copy of Ogo Pogo. Oh, the most unloved of the dangers next to Choop. <laughs> this is kind of like a rank eight, like rank four-ish turbo type kind of deck. <laughs> Ogopogo is just a free level 8 body that will special summon itself and draw a card. We are playing Chupacabra, which is a reborn, so this does just Foolish Burial any danger if it is discarded from the hand. Shout out to Canada. He's a Canadian cryptid. Ogipogi doing the mosty. Yo, check out that lore. Moving on to our smaller dangers, we are on a triple copy of Danger Mothman. Love Moth sweet boy doing the most lamp. This card is literally Dark World Dealings because it says if discarded, each player draws one card and discards one. Wow, that's literally the text of Dark World Dealings. Yep, and then it just triggers all of your other effects. Yeehaw! Moving on into our two ofs, we are on double copies of our Danger Chupacabra. This is literally just reborn. If this card is discarded, you can target a Danger Monster in your graveyard and then special summon it. Also, level four. More for four, go to Wendy's. Moving on to our sweet semis, we are on oh, two Nessie. brand new two Nessie. This feels really good. I'm we are too lie. powerful now. This is really, really beautiful. Nessie is probably one of the best danger cards, which is like why it was absolutely <laughs> astonishing when it came to two, because if this card is discarded, you can add one danger card from your deck to your hand. Crazy, searches any danger. For those of you who don't know, there's like an actual danger archetype and deck behind this, but we're just talking about the monsters in this case. Welcome back to two Nessie. We missed you very much. I love you, kisses. Speaking of Big Snake, we are playing the one copy of Little Snake and then the one copy of his best friend, Danger Jackalope. Snooch and Hoppy Hop. These are also probably the best dangerous, which is why they are still limited. Suchinoko will special summon itself regardless, and if it is not discarded, it will draw one card as well. And then Jackalope, when it is discarded, it allows you to special summon any danger monster from your deck in defense position. Oh, golly, you know what's real scary, team? We have. Oh, oh, look, it's Ranger Happy. Oh, my God, Ranger Happy has made an appearance. He saw himself and got excited, right, Happy? What a guy. Ranger Hubby's doing the most, protecting the townspeople. You're welcome. Thank you, Hubby. And then our last extender in the deck is the one copy of Black Wing Zephyros the Elite. This card is absolutely bonkers in this deck because all you have to do is if this card is in your graveyard, you can return one face up card you control to the hand, special summon this card, and if you do, then take 400 points of damage, which is fine because you're just going to OTK your opponent. It doesn't really matter. This is insane because you can literally just put this into the graveyard either with like a foolish burial or discarding it off of any other card effects in your hand. Bounce back a danger to your hand. Re-reveal that danger. This hits the field. You get an additional body again. And like this card's insane. Shout out to Black Wings. I literally hate this whole deck. Sorry if you play Black Wings, but I hate your deck. And then for the last monsters in the deck, we are on double copies of Raiden the Dark Kaiju. Heck yeah, shout out to Dragoon and any non-targetable boss monster that says they can't, you know, be beat by anything. Screw you, like Black Wing Full Armor Master. Guess what? I contribute you. Bye. Sorry, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Black Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Raiden's just really good because it's a dark monster. You can banish it off of lore. And as Logan said, if there are any problematic monsters that you can't really out with your main deck, you can yeet them away. Exactly. See ya. And then super quick for our spell cards, really generic. Uh, dark oh, look, world it's Danger dealings. Mothman. Uh, each player draws one card and then each player discards one card. It's literally Danger Mothman. I am not reading. We're, no. And then triple copies of Allure of Darkness. Allure. It's Allure for everyone who doesn't yeah, know that. It's, it's, it's not allure. allure. There's not seven U's. It's Allure. Like alluring. You don't say, wow, that was a really alluring date I just went on. No, <laughs> that's not how that works, Hal. <laughs> Anyways, this card says you can draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand. And if you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard, which is fine because like you're always going to have dark monsters. This entire deck is dark. This is realistically just additional draw power if you need it. This deck, uh, if you didn't pick up on it, it likes to draw cards. So your goal in this deck is to draw cards. Wow. And then we are on double copies of Pot of Avarice. Draw cards. Yeah, and it also <laughs> just shuffles back resources mm -hmm. too. Gives you a little bit more longevity in the deck though. I will say this deck is gas. And what I mean by that is that it is absolutely insane. Turn one, maybe turn two. But after the tank is empty, you just kind of go to the next one. So manage your resources, folks. And then for our hot one ofs, we are on the one copy of Card Destruction, Ooh. our one copy of Danger Response oh my Team. God. 
one foolish and one monster reborn. Nessie can search this card. It's very true. Reborn, super generic, <laughs> foolish. Obviously, super generic. you can just, you know, kind of send whatever you want or whatever you need. Danger response team is really good because it says you can target one danger monster you control and one monster on the field. It return them to the hand. And then if this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one danger monster, place this card on the bottom of your deck and draw one card. Pretty OP. That's honestly pretty sick in this deck, especially because yeah. if you can just, you know, send a danger back to hand or whatever you need back to hand, it just, it, that's absolutely insane, actually. Wow. Wow. What a spicy tech we're providing for you guys. You're welcome. And then card destruction, each player discards their entire hand, then draws the same number of cards they discarded. Card destruction's always been an OP one of. It's pretty good. I don't know. These are just good cards. Let us know what you think about the danger response team. Moving on to the extra. For our generic link monsters, we are on one copy of our Barricade Board Blocker, one copy of Akashic Magician, and then one copy of Penistag. Barricade Borg is like not super necessary, but it does have the effect where when this card is linked, something you can discard one card for cost. So just note that it will not actually trigger your Dark World monsters, but it does trigger your dangers, which is why it is in here. Or if you just have a card in your hand that you kind of want to get in your graveyard because you have like a reborn or you have anything else that you want to get out of your hand, this is a great way to do it. Akashic Magician is actually like low key kind of insane in this deck because if this card is linked, summoned once per turn, return all monsters that this card points to to the hand. This is like low key really great because if you know that you're going to have an extender, you can put that extender under this, link summon, bounce a card your opponent controls and then give yourself back like a danger. And you can just reactivate that danger to try to get additional cards on the field and draw additional cards. Broken. Akashic has always been one of my favorite Link 2s. She's great. Doing the most. We're playing the one copy of Penistag because it just inflicts piercing damage to your opponent. And then the last of our Link monsters, we are on the one copy of Phoenix because this deck does not play around back row super well. The one copy of Unicorn because, you know, spinning stuff. The one <laughs> copy of Access Code and our one copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Abermax. There's a lot of win cards in this deck it honestly kind of reminds me of like grand manager 2.0 yeah. you're just like summoning a bunch of stuff you're putting a bunch of big bodies on board yeah. rank 8 turbo rank 4 turbo spamming monsters you can get to access code really easily you can also get to your exes package really easily however if you're not able to close out the game you just saw the amount of generic link twos we play crusadia avermax literally just takes two monsters special summon from the extra deck so it can be a link three in a link two or just two link twos and this is a really problematic card for a lot of decks to out. And then if you cannot afford access code, Boral Sword is honestly a very, very, very viable decision for the extra deck slot as well. And then moving off for our Xyz, we are on one copy of Dweller and the one copy of Dugaris. This card is absolutely Yo, nutty. Dugaris is crazy. This card says that you can detach two materials from this card and then activate one of the following effects. The first of which is you can skip your next draw phase. Also, draw two cards, then discard one. So you will be triggering all of your effects and drawing an additional card. This deck does attempt to OTK, so you don't really have to worry about your next draw phase if you are not gonna be having one. <laughs> Same thing with the next effect. You can skip your next main phase. Also, special summon a monster from your graveyard and defense, so it's just a free reborn. And then the final effect is you can skip your next battle phase, and then for the rest of the turn, double the attack of one monster you control. So you can make your access code, you know, like, a lot. It's crazy that Dugaris hasn't seen a second printing yet. It came out in, like, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. And I wonder yeah. if it'll get a reprint, like, but that's- two years old. It's, yeah, it's pretty old at this point. It's also pretty, like, expensive now. So, yeah, shout out to Dugaris. He's uh, doing the most. Bye. And then moving on for our bigger AZs, we're on the one copy of Dengirsu, the one copy of Draglubion, the one copy of our Numeron Dragon, and then of course, our Hope Harbinger. This is kind of like our little OTK package. And this is one of those cards that, you know, doesn't target, doesn't destroy, just sends any card on the field or just provides you protection. This package is honestly really good, honestly, in this deck because you go into so many different XZs, like you usually end on Dugaris and then some, or you can go into Dengirsu and then this. So like, it's not just the 9K that you're doing, you're doing usually 9K plus Dugaris or 9K plus Dengirsu. Exactly. It's insane. You're hitting for like 15K or more. And then moving on for the last cards in this package. We are playing the little combo of Sanofon the Sky Prison and the one Divine Arsenal Zeus. I love Sanofon. Whenever I play this card, people are like, what the hell is that? I'm like, oh, buddy, you're in for it. So Sanofon gains 100 attack and defense for each monster in the graveyards, which is absolutely insane because not just your graveyard. If you're playing against a combo heavy deck, it's insane. And then once per turn, you can detach a material from this card until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can special summon.
stone monsters from the graveyard. So it's kind of like its own built-in abyss dweller. Also, it can't be destroyed, which is bonkers because it gets huge. And then the combo with this and Zeus is obviously if you can't like, or if your like opponent has a bunch of stuff and they stopped you or you can't like kill them in one turn, this can get really big, put a ton of damage on. This is a lingering effect. So you can detach, which means it has one material and then Bam, Doink. there you go. You have a two material Zeus. Your opponent can't special summon from their graveyards and you've put a ton of pressure on mm -hmm. the field while also hopefully still having some resources to play next turn. So this is like a funky little play in itself if you want to, you know, spice up your life a little bit and scare your opponent a little more than they already are. And that's the extra deck. So let us know what you think. That was pretty fun. Let's do a test hand and show you guys what it's all about. All right, team, time to show you guys a test hand and a combo. We like doing random test hands with our combo sections just because it gives you guys a more realistic perspective on, you know, how the deck actually plays. Also, shout out to this beautiful map from Imperium Duelist. If you want to get anything from Imperium Duelist at all, you can use the code CRUSHCARDS10 for 10% off your entire purchase, not just one item. So make sure you go support the channel, check out Imperium, and uh, thanks in advance. You are also going to need a lot of die rolling for this deck because, you know, dangers. So uh, feel free. They've got a brand new dice selection Whoa! out. Go check out. Yeah, there's, there's a ton there's of them. There's a whole bunch. They're really cute. They've got, like, characters on them and stuff. Like, we've got little, like, uh, little serpent knight dragon. He's not, it's really hard to see them. Hang on. I'll try morphing jar. Our morphing jar looks really Fabulous. good. Look at it, it looks so, so cute. Great. So adorable. Look at all these dice we have. Oh my god, there's so many. Hang on, we got uh oh we got injection fairy lily. Wow, <laughs> I am doing a great job showcasing these to y'all. I don't know. If you can see them, great. If not, go to imperiumduels.com and go check out the dice section. And with that being said, also this is a double-sided mat, so uh, pretty sick. You can play with your opponent or you can just play it as a one-sider, like we are right now, folding it in half. So that being said, we're gonna uh Allow our opponent to cut. Wow, here I am. All right, we're blind in second, kids. Oh, oh God. Oh, wow, geez. already off to the races. That's okay. usually how I do things. So we're going to start with, oh, a Nessie. Nessie? Uh, wow, that's, these are like the best age. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Uh, we'll see a Brow, and then our fifth card will be wow. a Thunderbird. And then, as Logan said, we are going second, so we will see... That's pretty insane. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start our turn by setting this card because we don't want to lose it because this will come in handy later. Um, I think the best thing to start off here with is probably just the Suchinoko. So okay. we'll go Suchinoko effect. Let me grab my morphing jar dice. Ready? Uh, so we'll do one, five, six, reroll. Yeah. Fabulous. It is it's a four. four. All right, so Brow will go to the graveyard. Suchinoko will special summon itself. Suchinoko to draw one card, and then wow, Brow will trigger, drawing us an additional card. Dis Disgusting. Wow. So, uh, I mean, this is this card's insane. And like, if for what it's worth, if they have like an Omni negate, yeah. this is what you negate. So we'll activate card destruction, and then we'll send our entire hand here. And which, it really doesn't matter because you have Avarice set, so which you're is just nuts. gonna put everything back and draw more anyway. Yeah. So we're gonna go. Um, we'll go chain link one, chain link two, chain link three, chain link four. So Thunderbird will pop a set. But before we do any of that, we have to draw. So we'll draw uh, four cards. One, two. Three. Wow. And four. Jesus Christ. Holy Lord. Okay, <laughs> resolving now. Beige will special. All right, now that we have a brand new hand here, <laughs> we are going to uh, play right into Droll and activate a lure. Here we'll draw two. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Fan stinking test. Dude, I hate this. And for anyone who is concerned about Droll, don't worry. That's why the side deck exists. Yes, check that out on Patreon and we will have the spice up there. I think the safest move here is just banishing the Radiant. I don't know exactly yeah. what, you know, like we're playing against the hypothetical board. So like it kind of is one of those things, but we drew another allure. So these are all free cards. We're just going <laughs> to activate the other one. Man. We'll grab, wow, wow. another beautiful Feels messy. so good. And then wow. a, a Bigfoot, holy. This deck is redonkulous. So we have actually resolved the Nessie already, so I think we're just gonna banish the Nessie here. Now we're gonna move on. We're gonna try to dig just a little bit deeper. Our graveyard is completely set up for the Chupacabra. The Ogopogo can send anything else if we want to at all. Snow can obviously trigger, Bigfoot's great. So we'll just go for Mothman to get something out of our hand. All right, so one, five, six, we roll. Three. Three. Bye, Ogie Pogie. Beautiful. There he goes. Our Mothman will special summon, and then we will just, you know, do the Mothman thing. Jesus. Wow. This is we're just all, insane. Are the allures just chilling together? I like, hate. I honestly like allure is a great card, but a lot of people may ask why we're not playing trade in. For anyone who got this far, this is why because you want monsters in your hand to trigger. You want all these cards to actually happen, resolve, have playable hands. We're already kind of breaking on spells. We've seen all three copies of allure. So for anyone wondering, you're not guaranteed to see a level eight monster along with a copy of trade in so we just decided to cut the trade in and keep playing the cards like allure which we've seen all three of so i don't think we really need to draw more honestly we have uh, a ton of accessibility here we're just gonna activate our chupacabra so say one two three four all right five six we will 
Four. It's a four. Goodbye, Fabulous. Everyone. See, a card that doesn't matter. Yay. But you matter. Fabulous. You. Choop will special, we will draw an additional card. It's another Choop, fabulous. So here we are going to overlay our Chupacabra and our Mothman to level fours into our copy of Dugaris, and then we're gonna activate detaching both materials to draw two cards and then draw Two cards. Wow, draw two cards, discard one, my apologies. But we were actually gonna attempt to draw two and then discard the snow to search the Grappa, but we <laughs> found the Grappa, so amazing. I think we'll just go for a copy of Grappa to the graveyard, and then now we can just, you know, Grappa can bounce this back, special summon, and wow, it's almost like we have two level eights on board. Isn't that wild? You can also choose to pop a card off of Grappa when it is sent to the graveyard, but once again, hypothetical board state, we're not, there's not really anything for us to pop, but just keep in mind that you can pop a card when it's sent to the grave. And it's not a hard one, per turn, so feel free to take advantage of that. So here we're gonna activate the Bigfoot in our hand just to try to get another level eight body on the field. Yeehaw, one, five. Four. Four again, Fabulous. more for four. Man, you really gotta go to Wendy. See ya, Brow. Brow's gonna go, Bigfoot will special, and then we will draw again. Wow, just, yeah. this is amazing. That is so fun. Here we are going to overlay our two level eights. Into Dragoobion. And then we're gonna, you know, ba-bam, Pot of Avarice. <laughs> Draw more cards. <laughs> Feels really bad. We do wanna attempt to get another level eight, so we are gonna make sure that we prioritize putting level eight back into our deck. We only have two, which is fine. Well, this is a draw card. It's another draw card, and this is a reborn, so we'll just go for these. Shuffle up real quick. You wanna cut opponent so I can draw two from you, please? Sure can, bud. Alrighty, draw those two cards, Chief. All right, we're gonna grab a copy of Choop. Beautiful and amazing, Dark wow. World Dealings. We're gonna activate our Dark World Dealings, drawing one card and then discarding one card. We'll uh, discard the Mothman, draw one, discard one. That, oh my <laughs> God, that's Deck literally insane. We're gonna send our good old copy here of Beige. And then Beige, because it was discarded, will trigger special summoning itself. And now you know what we can do here? Link for two. Boom, Akashic. Well, activate roll. Akashic, and then you know what's gonna happen with Akashic? We're gonna get that other level eight back to our hand. We can now activate our copy of Foolish Burial, sending a level eight from our deck to our graveyard. We will attempt to trigger the Bigfoot once again in our hand. All right, six reroll. Six reroll. Okay. Four! Four. Man. Oh my god, literally what we wanted. We're gonna send the Chupacabra, special the Bigfoot, draw a card, activate Chupacabra, bring back a level Woo! eight, overlay the level eight. Do Dingirsu is going to send Suya, and then now we can just activate our beautiful copy here of Dragoobion. And then we will special summon our Hope Harbinger, and then our Numeron Dragon right over it. Yeehaw! Boy, you see all these Xyz monsters on the board? That means that Numeron Dragon, when we detach it, is going to get extremely large, because he's the only monster you can attack with for the turn now, if you activate this effect, and he gains the rank of all of the Xyz on the field. So that's eight, eight, four, five. Times a thousand, not a hundred, so a thousand. 21,000 attack. <laughs> a, if your opponent has, if your opponent is still alive somehow through almost three times lethal, that's insane. <laughs> you are winning this game, Chief. Keep in mind, we've also cleared a few cards off of our opponent's field. And we've also, which is really important for a deck like this, left four cards in our hand for follow-up. We probably, being super honest here, just in like, you know, hindsight, should have kept the Bigfoot and then detached the Grapha so that we have a Grapha live in Graveyard for a follow-up as well. Just in case, as Logan said, you can't kill your opponent. But good news is I feel really confident with this one team. This this feels pretty lethal. <laughs> But yeah, that's Danger Dark World for you. This deck is super fun. Again, definitely not the most competitive thing in the world. I don't recommend you bring it to like a regional or YCS unless you're feeling real ballsy that day. But this deck is so much fun. Like, look at this. It's so ridiculous, you know? All you do is draw, and I know draw is a card, but we're talking about this deck in a very fun, casual, local setting or whatever. And guess what? We have a side deck, so don't even give me that BS. This deck is hella fun. And we hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile as much as we do. This is one of our favorite decks to update. So let us know what you think in the comments and what you're playing. And don't forget to tell me your favorite Halloween candy because I want to know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you. You matter. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye, my spooky, scary skeletons. Skeletons, I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk. Bye. Ah. Bye. This, this is pretty dangerous. Spooky, scary skeletons.